welcome back to Different Life. If you're just tuning in, you tuned in at a great time. Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat is coming to the Grace Tippling Hall in Shelburne. And it's coming very, very soon. And it's going to knock your socks off. So joining me today, we have Chris Horzen. You are a board member of LP Productions, LP Stage Productions, yes? yes. <laughs> and also an actor. Yes. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Wonderful. So let's talk about the production itself. So let's just pretend that nobody has ever seen Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Sure. Tell me a little bit about the show. It, it's a story about Joseph. Uh, it's, it's a biblical tale, but it's been changed and made fun. And uh, I don't think Angel Lloyd Webber initially decided to be a musical. Right. But it, it ended up becoming that way. And uh, it's, it's Joseph's journey. Um, uh, his brothers try to kill him and then sell him off. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then he becomes uh, second hand of Egypt and they come back and he uh, tests them to see if they've changed. Okay. And they did and, then, and maybe I won't tell the ending away. No, <laughs> let's not give that away because if you haven't seen it, you really do have to see it. Um, so Chris, tell me when and where, I, we already talked about where, but tell me when uh, people can watch the show. So the show is coming uh, May 10th. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it's uh, $18 general admission. Okay. Um, or the Dufferin House is having a deal where if you pay $50, you get a dinner and a show. Oh, amazing. Um, uh, the dates are all up on eventbrite.ca. Mm -hmm. You can search up the show there. Yeah. So is it running just for the one date, or is it running multiples? We have two weekends of shows. That's so that what I thought, because I was going to say, I was thinking it was on May 12th, but I think that falls in that same weekend. Yeah, so yeah. there'll be a Friday night, um, there'll be a Saturday uh, matinee, and then the next weekend, same thing. Okay, yeah. amazing. So they can get the tickets on eventbrite.com? Uh, it's eventbrite.ca, yeah. Oh, .ca, okay. you just search for our, our Shelburne or Grace Tippling Hall the sh or the show. Okay. Yeah. So amazing. So let's talk about LP Stage Productions. Are you a community theater group? Yeah, they're okay. a, a not-for-profit. Mm -hmm. uh, they only do musicals, and uh, they perform in Grace Tippling Hall. Okay. They've been around for many years, long before I started with them. Okay. Um, but it, yeah, it's uh, Dale Lundy and Allison Port, and they run the show. Okay. Yeah. So they've done multiple different types of shows. What other shows have been in, in the sequence since you've been a part of it? Um, since I've been a part of it, uh, we did Spam a lot, which was the Monty Python musical. Okay. Um, Wizard of Oz, uh, Christmas Story, the musical, uh, Oliver. There's been so many. So many, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So let's talk about the importance of a community theater group. Why is it important to have a community theater group? Uh, from the very basic of it, the activity of doing theater is such an amazing experience, and it, it's almost like a camp. But you still go to school, you still do stuff, but mm -hmm. you know, two nights a week and a, and a Sunday, you're learning how to sing better, you're learning acting, you're learning uh, you know, group dynamics, because you're with a big group. And at the end of it, you get to put it on stage in front of an audience, and I, I feel like it's super important in a community. And, yeah, absolutely. And let's talk about that. So they're not professional actors. You're just members of the community to get together. So how? Mm -hmm. let's talk about Joseph and, and how, long has the re how long has the rehearsal process? We started in February. It's, it's usually about three months of rehearsals. Okay. Um, and then you put it on stage. Wonderful. So, and then, so do you do auditions? So, like, how do people get involved? Like, let's say, obviously, it's too late to be Joseph is already cast, so you can't get into that one. But let's talk about the process of if somebody was just thinking, you know what, I'd like to do something like that. I'd like to give it a try. How do they get involved? Yeah, yeah LP Stage Productions Inc. on Facebook. Um, if you follow their page, there is um, audition notices. Um, you would call Allison and say, yeah, hey, I want to audition for the show. And then you'd practice a monologue and a song. Sometimes okay. there's so it's like a full, it's like a regular audition that a, even a professional actor Absolutely. would Absolutely. They yeah. try to do everything as close to professional as possible. Everyone gets the real, the real experience, right? And speaking of experience, do you need experience to, to come out and volunteer? Absolutely not. Okay. If you don't think you can sing, we'll make you sing. We'll, <laughs> we'll make it happen. Right. Um, they, they have a musical coordinator who will train you and help you with your singing. Um, there's a choreographer to help you with your dance and everything. And, the process works and we 
if everyone who's new mm -hmm. ends up loving it at the end and they're so talented and talents they didn't know they even had right and I think that's part of it too like I mean if you if you've always like I'm not a singer I'm, I'm told by my husband I'm pitchy or tone deaf or something like that anyways um, so I wouldn't think about that but like uh, can someone get involved like let's say someone like me who's always like I used to teach dance I used to you know be a dancer years ago I don't have the same shape and form I used to have years ago but can you still be a part of it if you if I don't carry a tune like, are, is, are there acting parts that are not singing I, absolutely and, and uh, but we'll fix that too I mean <laughs> <laughs> it all works out in the end, um, but yeah, we, everyone's welcome. Uh, right. No matter what your capabilities are, or where your talents are. So uh, let's talk about um, ages. So obviously, it depends on the production that's being put on. Yeah. But you do have shows that you've put on with younger kids, and they they go through the same processes. Yeah, it's it's all the same. Um, we do junior shows sometimes. Um, we do shows with adults only. Adults mixed. Um, it, often it depends on the show yeah, and so they just did Matilda that was their last show um, that was a junior show so all kids up until I think 18 is the max for juniors okay yeah and then LP stage productions is strictly like you said in Shelburne yeah, yeah. so it's not a far ride for anywhere in Dufferin for you to come out and see the show um, make sure you find that information but are you are you in the cast of the show I'm in the cast. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, <laughs> I got the I got the role of Joseph. Oh, amazing! Um, the, 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 it's really hard to get guys in theater, mm -hmm. um, and, and this time, no one came out. So I'm going to do Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I mean, and so when you started, so have you been acting as long as you've been a part of the board for the the? the no, I. I I didn't really do anything um, until Spam a Lot. That was my first musical. Okay. I had never been on stage before. Um, I did a small extra role in, in a Mean Girls movie, but okay. <laughs> a long time ago. But I, I haven't done anything. So Spam a Lot was my first show, and it was nerve wracking to start, and it was such a great experience. I, I'm addicted now. Yeah, <laughs> and I think that's it too. Once you try it, and if you really love it, no matter what you're trying, it doesn't have to be theater or singing or dancing, but no matter what you try, if you love it, it becomes an addiction like you just you want to do more and you want to get into that next opportunity yeah it's it's a lot of work for three months um it's it's hard but at the end it's just so amazing and two weeks later you're like i want more <laughs> <laughs> you're like no i want to do four encore shows yeah. yeah yeah so let's talk about things that you've learned since you um since you took the stage in spam a lot and now being the lead in joseph um I, I feel like my vocal range has increased. Um, just you know, singing a lot. Um, I, I've learned a lot about how the theater works behind the curtain. You, you see a show and people are performing, but there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes with building the sets, making the sets work with the curtains. And Grace Tippling is not the biggest stage. Mm -hmm. they, they work magic to make these things happen, and, and it, it's you learn a lot yeah so do you know and I'm not gonna hold you to it but do you know approximately how many people fit in in the theater it's roughly 200 okay yeah. so a fair size for yeah. sure so I had like when you were talking about it being nerve-wracking I can just imagine you've never been on stage before and now you're doing something that you have stepped out of your comfort zone for yeah and then uh, you're standing in front of 200 people and what was your feeling when the show closed that very first show um, yeah, it, it it was very exciting. Um, I was obviously anxious going into it. My dress rehearsals didn't go so well, so my <laughs> first show I was very nervous. But yeah, after the first show, I kind of went home like, okay, that's amazing. I want to do it again. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that happens no matter what. I remember I did a number, and I was it was uh, it's probably about oh my gosh, 25 years ago now. I was doing it, and, and it was dress rehearsal, and I'm, you know, tap, jazz, acro, all those types of things. I didn't do acro back 20 years ago or 25 years ago, but I just remember on the dress rehearsal, I had to dance on top of a desk, like just hop up there, do a couple tap steps, and in dress rehearsal, I fell, like I fell backwards. And then, of course, you know, everyone was like, oh, I didn't hurt myself, everything was good, but, sure, yeah. you know, you're like, well, I got it out of my system because now I'm not going to fall when I get back on stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, so how many people are in the cast of Joseph? 
Um, I don't have an exact number. I'm pretty sure it's over 40. It's a big cast. Wow. Because it's not just the lead actors in Joseph. There's a choir. Okay. And so we've got a huge choir, and they've got lots of stuff to do. Um, we've tried to use kids as much in our cast. Not all the brothers are adults. Okay. Um, so it's, it's really great that we're getting giving kids a chance to do the big lead roles, too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that and that's that's a lot for a production, 40 people on a stage and coordinating coming in and off. And that's kind of some of the things you were talking about that you don't see, like the cue to cue, the going through, you know, where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be there on the stage and who's moving in front of you and who's moving behind you. Yeah. There's so much work put into it. And then you've got that stage manager that's like, you've got to... <laughs> Yeah. You got to hit your mark every time, like, and you know. They're and on I, the radio. These people come off stage. These people come back up. Now this goes back. This, this prop's got to get on stage. Yeah, it's 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 a lot of work. It is, and uh, and and you said it's a not-for-profit organization, which mm -hmm. which I think is amazing because um, communities need theater, both professional, both community theater. So I think it's art is. A, a, a way to not only express yourself as a person who's standing on the stage, but for the people who are attending to be in another world, be in another place, mm -hmm. um, and really just absorb what you're seeing and not worrying about, you know, everyday life. Yeah, Ella, Allison and Dale, they just really love theater. They love musicals and, um, yeah, everything they make, they put back into the next show and just try to keep making it as bigger and bigger, and they'll do it forever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I, people who love it just, you know, you just can't get enough of it. The arts are, they're a great expression of outlet. They, you know, they teach younger kids self-confidence and community and making friends and, mm. you know, and seeing different levels of age when you're a young actor, you see all different, you, you get the experience, the full experience. Right, yeah. So anyway, so it's a show that is not to be missed. Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat that's happening at the Grace Tippling Hall in Shelburne this coming up in May. And tell us again the date range and where people can get tickets. Yeah, May 4th, 12th was the first show and then all the way to the next weekend. And you can get tickets on eventbrite.ca. Can they get tickets at, um, in town as well in Shelburne? Uh, there's general admission at the door. Okay. Um, don't know if you can get them somewhere else. Okay. Yeah, no worries, no worries. So if you're not sure of your plans for those dates, you can always go pick up tickets as you're coming in. Um, thank you so much for uh, joining me today, Chris, and telling us all about this great show. Thanks again for having me. And break a leg. <laughs> Thanks. And don't you go anywhere, and don't, oh, don't you break a leg. Uh, we, it's time to say goodbye. I was getting so excited. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. the Rogers TV viewer response line. Email us or connect with us on social media.